hear about it for the rest of our lives. But he's trying to have the Constitution of the United States swallow Clorox. And uh, I appreciate these questions that all of you have this morning, and I guess provoked by the arrogance and the disregard for the Constitution with the President's statement last night. And you can do so as soon as possible. Ten states, as I said, on Friday uh, started their early for voting the, the day that we lost but, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning. Sunday morning. <laughs> the... Uh, we have a responsibility. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. Good morning. Sunday morning. Hi, folks. I have an update on my effort to force a vote on the Paycheck Protection Program. Speaker Pelosi's feeling the pressure. How do I know? Well, she just canceled votes for tomorrow. It's no coincidence that tomorrow is also when I'm able to file my discharge petition. That's the tool that would allow us to temporarily take control of the floor away from the speaker to bring up our PPP extension bill. The Wall Street Journal, Roll Call, and The Hill are all reporting that several Democrats are seriously considering breaking ranks and signing my petition. With my Republican colleagues all in, we only need 20 Democrats willing to join us. And I think Speaker Pelosi is nervous that her solutions oriented members couldn't pass up the opportunity to make a statement in support of small business survival. Stay tuned. Election. Will you commit here today for a peaceful transferal of power after the election? And there has been rioting in Louisville. There's been rioting in many cities across this country, red and your so-called red and blue states. Will you commit to making sure that there is a peaceful trans? of power after the election. Well, we're going to have to see what happens. You know that I've been complaining very strongly about the ballots, and the ballots are a disaster. I and, understand that, but and, people are rioting. Do you oh, commit to making sure that there's a no, peaceful we wanna, transfer of power? We want to have get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. We'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There'll be a continuation. Uh, the ballots are out of control. You know it. And you know who knows it better than anybody else? The Democrats know it better than anybody else. Go ahead. Mr. President, the second question is, will you... Please go ahead. We have tremendous unity in the party. Mitch is doing a good job. Kevin is doing a good job. We're going to take over the House. We're going to take back the House. People are tired of crazy Nancy. They're tired. We want to get some stimulus out. She doesn't want to give it. She just does not only be for political reasons. Not your fault. You know whose fault it is? China's fault. That's whose fault it is. That's whose fault it is. You know, uh, it's an amazing thing because the Democrats are saying, well, it's the end of a term. And because, it, you know, we have a lot of time left. Think, think of this. If it were them, don't forget, we don't have to do it by the election, but we should be easy, really able. That would be a great victory.